China, a country of contrasts. Colourful displays and ancient rituals. Cut off from the rest of the world by a wall that is nearly 4,000 miles long. A two and a half thousand year old army drawn up in battle formation to defend the Qin Emperor. A land of beautiful gardens laid out for the entertainment of the Emperor's concubines. China has the largest population on earth who, although ruled by communists, embrace religion, particularly Buddhism, with enthusiasm. At this Buddhist temple in Zhongdei, an age-old ritual is performed. Eventually, quiet piety triumphs over the evil spirits and the monks can return to their everyday worship. In Beijing, from the Tiananmen Gate, which is the entrance to the Forbidden City, the giant portrait of Chairman Mao looks over Tiananmen Square, the largest public square in the world. At the southern end of the square is the monument to the people's heroes. Tiananmen Square is a place associated with momentous events in China's history. But today it is a bustling location for strolling, watching people and kite flying. The Forbidden City is one of the most popular sites for visitors, both Chinese and Westerners. For 500 years, the Forbidden City was the residence of Ming and Qing dynasty emperors, and entry was forbidden to ordinary citizens, hence its name. There are no trees in the Forbidden City, as emperors feared they would give shelter to possible assassins. There are, however, temple dogs and many beautiful carved marble staircases. Citizens, who are fully aware of their importance, reside in Beijing Zoo. They seem oblivious of their admirers and go about life at their own pace. To the northwest of Beijing, at Badaling, there is a restored section of the Great Wall of China, which is accessible to visitors. The wall was originally built to prevent invasion by the Mongols from the north, who only engaged in combat from horseback, never on foot. Thus the height of the wall was determined as that to prevent horses being able to jump it. There are watchtowers at regular intervals, 
and the wall is wide enough to take five horsemen riding abreast. The Great Wall stretches from desert to sea, across mountain ridges and valleys, and dominates the landscape for miles around. It stands as a memorial to the countless millions who were conscripted and died during its construction. The market stalls by the Great Wall are full of souvenirs. It is absolutely essential to bargain. No one ever expects the asking price to be paid, least of all the vendors. The resort town of Chungde is about a four-hour train journey from Beijing and the ride goes through some beautiful scenery. At Chongde is the Imperial Summer Palace Resort of the Qing Dynasty Emperors. It is a magnificent complex of gardens, lakes, bridges, pagodas and temples. Strangely shaped rock is a natural formation with various forecasts of doom should the rock ever fall. The grounds of the Summer Palace Resort abound with various activities. There are regular kite flying contests. Budding future stars of the Chinese circus come here to practice and give free shows, which are much appreciated by the locals. of the strangely named Big Wild Goose Pagoda are a popular place for the elderly to practice Tai Chi. Younger people have their own way to keep fit. Xi'an are the Hua Qing Hot Springs. Originally a Tang Dynasty pleasure resort, they are still used for bathing. The thermal pools, bathhouses and garden pavilions have been restored to their former glory. Heaven was used by Ming and Qing emperors to pray for good harvests. The magnificent building was constructed of wood, but without the use of a single nail or bolt. The walkway and park around the Temple of Heaven is where the pensioners of Beijing meet to pursue various pastimes. 
Apart from singing, they crochet, play mahjong and Chinese checkers and take gentle exercise. At Xi'an can be seen the remarkable terracotta army of the Emperor Qin Xuan. Each soldier is larger than life-size and each one different, believed to be modelled on actual soldiers of Qin's army. As recently as 1974, there was nothing here until five farmers digging a well during a drought chanced upon this extraordinary find. In the main pit, which is larger than a football field, have been found so far 2,000 of the estimated 6,000 warriors and horses, all lined up in battle formation. Two further pits. Pit number three is thought to be garrison headquarters, and pit number two is still being excavated, but is thought to represent a military encampment. All this to protect the Emperor Qin in the afterlife. Xi'an was the capital of the Tang Dynasty, and the Tang Dynasty show demonstrates the music, dance and song that provided entertainment to the Tang emperors. Extensive records were kept that has enabled reproduction of authentic instruments and costumes, as well as performances. A colourful and fitting end to this glimpse of China.